morning, everyone. I am so excited to be here today. We are at the Hyatt Place National Mall where we are launching the 43rd year of the Marion Berry Summer Youth Employment Program. <laughs> what an exciting time to be a part of this magnificent legacy. Major shout out to Mr. Jeff Griffiths. Um, owner, um, owner of this beautiful edifice, and I'd like to say to you, Mr. Griffiths, thank you for your continued partnership. A lot of people don't know that before there were walls, wallpaper, doors, when it was just a frame, there was a partnership formed with city partners and the Office of Youth Programs called the City Partners Pathway, where young people learned everything from the front of the house to the back of the house to HVAC. And so lives were changed. Young people got careers in the hospitality industry and have bought homes. So thank you so much, Mr. Griffiths, for your vision. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Morris Hughes to come up and open up the program. Hey, don't go anywhere. Stay right there, see me. Don't go anywhere. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, and on behalf of our Mayor Muriel Bowser, um, I want to welcome everyone to the 43rd um, annual opening of the Marion Berry Summer Youth Employment Program uh, application. Um, come closer, Ms. Thene Freeman. Um, so I think everyone knows that this has been a long pandemic, right? A very long pandemic. Um, and at the DC Department of Employment Services, we have been laserly focused on trying to connect people um, with economic benefits that they need um, to sustain and recover during the pandemic. Uh, but what folks don't understand um, and realize is that out of all of the other important programs that we have been running, we had a super amazing and important program um, that never skipped a beat while the rest of the agency was focused on unemployment insurance. Um, and that's because of this fearless leader right here, Thene Freeman. So Thene, I want to thank you for everything that you have done. I remember the mayor asked last year, are we going to have SYEP? Um, and I talked to Thene, and it was never a doubt, never a second thought. Of course, we were going to have SYEP. And I'm very grateful for what you and your team have done um, because you make sure that young people, and you've done this for years, that young people have the experience um, that they need and that changes their life. So thank you, Thene, thank very you, much. Thank, thank you. And so while the rest of the district may have been closed um, at points during the year, there was another program and another a or an hour agency that remained open, um, and that was the Office of Youth Programs. So if you work for the Office of Youth Programs, um, stand up and wave and give yourselves a round of applause um, because folks don't understand <laughs> that during a six-week period during the summer, we stand up um, a third of all uh, government employees and run a program flawlessly that changes young people's um, lives. So thank you, Office of Youth um, Programs. There are two other individuals that I, I want to also highlight um, that are here today. Um, I can't think of any other individuals in our DC community that um, are as committed um, and focused and supporting of young people. Anytime they are called um, and asked to help the city, it's never even a doubt in their mind. Um, so Mr. Thomas Penny, president um, of Donahoe, and Mr. Ron Moten, thank you so much for your continued partnership um, and never thinking twice when the city calls on you um, for help. I also um, want to acknowledge Mr. Rustin Moore um, of Hyatt Place DC National Mall for hosting us. Um, I appreciate everything that you've done for us today um, and we're grateful to be here um, in this amazing facility um, and business. Um, and then also, thank you, <laughs> Acting Comptroller um, Michael um, Sue, with your continued partnership um, has changed the lives of young people. Um, not only do they get to have 
um, a robust summer experience, um, but they have a life-altering early career experience. And what people learn at the FINRA agencies um, is that um, they are learning critical skills that's going to set them on a career path. And that's what we do at the Department of Employment Services is that we help people connect um, to careers and opportunities that are life-altering and family-sustaining. Um, so thank you for being the first spoke uh, and that important wheel of a career. Thank you, and thank you to all the other directors in that agency um, that uh, participate. Now, we do have some exciting announcements this year, um, but before we begin, I want to introduce um, Miss Dominique Day, um, a former MBSYP participant and now full-time, that's right, I did say full-time, um, employee of the Hyatt Place, D.C. Miss Dominique Day, would you mind coming up, please? Good morning, my name is Dominique Day, as you know. Um, I'm currently a senior at UDC. I've started with the... <laughs> um, I started with the SYEP program from um, an after-school program called Tenacity at Dunbar Senior High School, which is a career readiness class that prepared high schoolers for um, internships. That following summer in 2017, I interned at Hyatt Place, and I've basically been at Hyatt ever since, gaining hands-on customer service experience and valuable skills for, success, for a successful career. With that being said, I would like to introduce an individual who has actually interviewed me in my high school, who is now my general manager, Rustin Moore. Good morning, everyone. You're trying to get tears out early this morning, huh, Dominique? <laughs> uh, well, first, I want to just thank uh, everyone for coming out this morning and thank DOES and all the partners uh, and departments for the continued relationship that we have with DOES. Um, it's very important these days specifically to uh, have a line of hope. Uh, we're all looking for something to look forward to, and what's better than that than a career and the ability to affect your community, to affect your family, and yourself mentally. Uh, so thank you, Dominique, for being here. <laughs> uh, I want to introduce Thomas Penny, the president of Dino Hospitality. Good, good morning. Uh, there's no better way to start my day than to start uh, it basically celebrating the kickoff of the uh, Summer Youth Employment Program. The one thing I want to say is leadership matters. Um, we have uh, Jeff Griffiths and Greg Farron here today. They're the owners of this hotel. And before the walls were put up, uh, these guys made a commitment to the young people of this city, and they came up with a program to ensure young people had a chance to transition similar to Dominique. She's an amazing young person with a long runway in this business. And so let's give them a round of applause again for their leadership. And then I just want to say, you know, Rustin, uh, as the general manager of this hotel, someone who's committed, in this, committed to this community, Dominique can see herself as a general manager because you come from where she comes from, she, you look like her, and representation matters. And so we're incredibly proud of you, and, and we appreciate the commitment that you have to young people of this city. And then lastly, I just want to say thank God for Marion Barry and his legacy, but also thank God for the Department of Employment Services. Here, 43 years later, they're ensuring young people have opportunities in this city, and coming after 24 months of this pandemic where young folks' lives have been impacted, there's nothing more important for us all to do than to make sure they have opportunities. So let's give, let's give Thene Freeman and Dr. Unique Morris Hughes a round of applause. And so, from a Donahoe perspective, this is a hotel, again, that the city partners folks own. We operate for them. We operate a few other hotels in the city. We're looking forward to getting as many young people in our hotels as possible. Um, this is an important time for our industry. We need to rebuild the city, and we're just fortunate to have Dominiques of the world to help to make certain we welcome guests to D.C. So uh, thank you for the opportunity. All right, so everyone knows, and if you don't, there are two programs that co coincide 
the Marionberry Summer Youth Employment Program, and the Marionberry Youth Leadership Institute. And so I have with us this morning one of our co-youth mayors, Ms. Lourdes Robinson. Good morning. My name is Lourdes Robinson. I attend DC International School and I have the pleasure of serving as District of Columbia's co-youth mayor from the Marionberry Youth Leadership Institute. Like Marionberry Summer Youth Employment Program, the Marionberry Youth Leadership Institute is also, no also known as MBYLI, are both in their 43rd year of operations. The program is the establishment we, the youth, are reminded that we are all winners, regardless of our existing circumstances. This was the intention of our founder, DC's Mayor for Life, Marion S. Berry. Today, I am here as living and active testimony to the benefits of the exceptional investment in youth DC puts forth. I remember coming to DOES, just getting a regular summer job when my dad made me fill out all my paperwork because <laughs> I'm the one getting paid. <laughs> when, when a worker from Ibuwai noticed my dad and I's interaction, she recommended me the Youth Leadership Institute. At first I was skeptical. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> so I did, and it was an amazing experience. I got to meet so many people, and then I also ran for Deputy Youth Mayor when I was elected at 14. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much to the extraordinary leadership, direction, and vision of three women. Our Mayor, Muriel Bowser, Director of Empowerment Employ oh, Director of the Department of Employment Services, Dr. Unique Morris Hughes, and Mrs. Steeny Freeman, Associate Director of Youth Programs. I am proud to walk in your footsteps as a young African American lady ready to initiate change. I am here bringing greetings on behalf of over 20,000 youth who also benefit from the Summer job Jobs Program, which is more than a job but an opportunity to learn and obtain core life skills that propel us through life, middle class and beyond. To those wishing to discover leadership skills, preparing them to take on leadership roles in their communities, please consider joining us at the Marion Berry Youth Leadership Institute this summer. Thank you. <laughs> All the adults in this room need to stand up because that is a high school student who is speaking change into her community. And it is important for adults to affirm young people so that they don't seek affirmation from negative places. So Lord as we're going to do that again as if Beyonce just walked off this stage. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And Director Morris Hughes will close us out. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the tears this morning at yeah. either. Um, but it, we all need some light and some positivity uh, in this world, especially uh, today. Um, in, in 2020, during the start of the pandemic, um, under the leadership of Mayor Bowser, and I shared with you, um, when I asked Thini, because the mayor had asked me, are we going to have SYEP, um, not only did we and she made the investment and supported us to move the program virtually and then um, hybrid um, this past summer, um, but there was never a doubt in my mind that not only can Ms. Freeman and her team, um, but that the young people who were in the program um, could rise to the uh, occasion. And that's why the Office of Youth Programs, that's why Marion Berry Summer Youth Employment Program and the Marion Berry Youth Leadership Institute is so critically important to the District uh, of Columbia. Um, since 2020, you'd be interested to, to hear this and it's shocking, um, we've had over 57,000 um, different documents um, and different uh, identification and um, uh, 
papers, you name it, that we have had to manage and handle um, just to get this program uh, uh, up off the ground virtually and then in hybrid. Um, we've also had over 21,000 young people who have not only applied but submitted everything that they needed to do, but we only had 11,000 or 12,000 slots. This year, we will increase the number of slots that we will have for young people. Um, but it's important that when you're out talking about, and I hope that you're talking about um, the good news of young people doing well in the city, you remember to advocate for programs like the Marion Barry Summer Youth Employment Program. And the Marion Barry Youth Leadership Institute, because these programs for 43 years have changed the lives of young people. And you don't have to look any further. There are those of us in this room that have benefit, benefited from these programs um, and people across the city and across the world that have benefited from these programs. So I encourage you, when you leave here today, share the good news. The application is open. We will have more slots available this year for young people, but Ms. Uh, Dominique Day and our co-youth mayor are testament to the, empower, the important um, and empowering work that we do here at the Department of Employment Services and through these two programs. So without further ado, Feeney Freeman, let's go ahead and open this application. The application is now open, folks. Do you want to... Is that the close out, close out? You want to close out, close out, close out. Thank you, everybody, for your time today. This application is open. Run, tell everybody, tweet, talk about it, hand them a flyer. SYEP is now open. Thank you. Thank you.